Hello friends, in this video let's learn about stress concentration factor. Stress concentration factor, normally we assume something to design a state soft that is while calculating the basic stress like tensile, compressive, shear and bending the basic assumption of the object is uniform cross section that is not geometrical irregularities but the changes in the shape shapes are unavoidable in design and manufacturing we cannot manufacture the component with the uniform cross section when a machine component shape of cross section changes the stress concentration will act if a machine component has discontinuity in shape that is change in cross section or uh, some uh, obstacles uh, holes like that it alters stress distribution produced stress that is localized stress will be more than the calculated stress suppose this is the rod we are applying a load it produces stress one suppose we are changing the cross section like this the same load we are acting the stress distribution sigma 2 will be more than the average stress the stress will be altered the irregularity in the stress distribution is caused by geometrical changes due to this geometrical changes the stress distribution is varied in the cross section that is called stress concentration this stress concentration occurs due to fillet notches holes eways splines screw threads surface roughness or scratches etc what are the changes in the object that produces the stress concentration in that area a soft we are applying the load the stress distribution will be like this all the stress distribution in parallel line the load we are acting p here in case we are changing the shape the same load we are applying see up to this this diameter is d d by 2 now see in diameter d the stress distribution is parallel line here also parallel line but the stress distribution between the line is more the gap is more, very more here but very less here see at this area where the obstacles are there at where the changes in the cross section happened the stress will be more than the average stress at the shape changing area a factor will be introduced here to find out the stress that is called stress concentration factor nominal stress in left side and the right side will be uniform see here nominal stress for the both uh, shape will be uniform but at the place of cross section changes redistribution of force sharing changes the stress distribution force distribution is changes it happened into the member itself it's happening into the member the material near the edge is stressed more than the average stress value the stress is increased more than the average value at area changing place the maximum stress occurs at the fillet and the director parallel to the boundary to consider the effect of stress concentration in the object stress concentration factor is used which is the ratio of maximum stress to nominal stress see kt is the stress concentration factor it's the ratio between maximum stress and nominal stress the maximum stress is nothing but localized stress near the geometry discontinuity where the shape is changing that in that area stress will be more so that stress is maximum stress nominal stress is determined by minimum cross section in area see this is the component here the maximum stress will be produced and uh, nominal stress will be produced here in in this soft sigma nominal value of stress concentration factor depends on geometry of the part only the stress concentration factor will vary only with respect to the 
shape of the object and it is independent of the material it's not depend on the material because this factor will vary with respect to the shape of the object so it is called geometrical or theatrical stress concentration factor stress concentration factor can be identified for different shapes based on these methods by porto elasticity methods brittle coating methods grid methods strain gauge method or fem method fine element analysis method any one of the method we can calculate stress concentration factor the stress concentration factor we cannot avoid completely but we can able to minimize by applying some technique let's see flow in pipes we have a pipe we are applying a water here it flows like this it flows parallel lines water is flowing 10 liter per minute see the output also will be 10 liter per minute now i am changing the cross section now here also 10 liter per minute water is supplied the same output of 10 liter per minute will be a output but if the velocity is here 10 meter per second means here the velocity will be increased to 20 meter per minute because this is diameter d and uh, this one is d by 2 the velocity will be increased so what's happened the all the flow lines will hit here and it will produce stress maximum stress will be produced at this joint so we can reduce by applying different techniques see this one is poor save just i made a filler here so what's happened and she in first picture the stress distribution line is this one is stress distribution line it is touching the corner here it touching the corner here so there is a chance for failure propagation in case i am making the filler here see now the stress distribution line is shifted towards inside there is a gap this gap is there so it will not propagate the crack to get failure another preferred shape is i increased the fillet and uh, in change the diameter here what's happened now also the stress distribution line goes towards inside see fourth shape highly preferred shape i made a two undercut here what's happened from the bigger force in itself the stress distribution line shifted towards inside so it goes into the uh, near to the axis so the stress distribution will be along the axis so it will not get failure stress concentration factor on the material in static loading the stress concentration has negligible effect on ductile material while static load when the stress induced near the discontinuity reaches the yield point see this is the component when we are applying the load this portion reaches the yield point local plastic deformation takes place because it's a ductile material so it will it will attain the plastic deformation also when the load is increased beyond the elastic limit and the stress get redistributed to relieving the stress concentration while we are applying the load it will extend with the load so there is a plastic range also so it will extend up to this and it will alter the stress distribution lines therefore when ductile material is subjected to static loading not affected by the stress concentration therefore no need to apply the stress concentration factor for ductile material due to this plastic range it will it will support the load carrying capacity so there is no much effect of stress concentration factor but when the ductile material is subjected to a dynamic load the stress discontinuity may reaches the endurance limit here 
due to the dynamic load the same ductile material will reach the endurance limit it leads to the fatigue failure so here when the material is subjected to the dynamic load we need to take into the account of stress concentration factor therefore stress concentration factor reduces the endurance limit of ductile material it must be used for ductile material when dynamically loaded but the stress concentration factor has more severe effect on brittle material because in brittle material there is no plastic range because the stress and the strain will increase linearly at sudden range point reaches it will suddenly gets break because there is no acceptable uh, plastic range so it will gets failure so stress concentration factor holds severe effect on brittle material Therefore, stress concern to be taken into account for a brittle material. Thanks for watching.